everybody. Welcome to WTF Hammer Underworlds. So today's video is just a really quick video just to give an update on the changes I've made to my Seasons 1 to 3 House Rule Errata and New Faction Specific cards in order to make these things play out of the box. And I just wanted to re-show this summary just before showing the changes that I've made. So if you're already aware with the project, basically this is a play out of the box form of Warhammer Underworld in which all war bands that have been released, at least between Seasons 1 to 3, I haven't gone into Season 4 yet or at least haven't officially released them but anyway all these warbands through this alternative method that i put together are playable out of the box you can just grab steel hearts champions grab chosen axes grab garrick's reavers grab eyes of the nine whoever it is that you want to play grab them straight out of the box play them with the errata and new factor specific cards that i've included for them without needing to do any kind of universal card deck building. So deck building is basically eliminated in this version. You can obviously take these cards and then deck build around them, but I really haven't optimized it for deck building with universal cards, and I'm sure that it'll be pretty broken in a lot of cases. So I'd recommend just playing with the faction-specific cards that I'm providing here. And the breakdown is basically that each Warband has 12 objective cards with six surge and six end phase or third end phase cards that are balanced with regard to all the other Warbands. And each Warband also has 22 power cards, 11 gambits, and 11 upgrades, which are all useful. And the main change that I've made is that I've upgraded the power cards for Seasons 1 and 2 especially, as well as for Seasons 3 to a certain degree, because I've been realizing as I look through Season 4 Warbands that the power cards, especially the upgrade cards, are very overpowered. And as I'm starting to edit those cards to pull them into this play-out-of-the-box format... I realized that the previous season's cards needed to be strengthened as well, the power cards that is. And all this video is is just to introduce those new changes and make them available to you so you can print them alongside with the other cards that I've already photoshopped and made available to you. So just give you a quick glimpse. So I just want to show you the Google Drive folder that I'm making available in the description of this video where you basically have access to all the cards as well as just details like the summary of what changes I made as well as tactic and lore guides that I'm making available too for print. And I split it by season, season one, season two, season three. I'll just give you a quick look at season one. If you open the folder, you basically have the season one custom cards, part two, and the original card. So these ones were already available, the season one custom cards three by three. I also am releasing part two, which are new cards that I've modified since my last video, which are basically those gambit and upgrade changes. Uh, fighters are typically the same. The only real difference I, the only real change I made was that I fixed keywords. So, so keywords only came into existence in season three, like scything and ensnared. I went back and retroactively put them on fighter cards where they applied just that everything would be streamlined between all three seasons. So if you see ensnare in season three, you'll similarly see the same thing in season one. So everything just becomes simple. There's the warband info sheet which I mentioned in other videos, just shows the lore and the tactical guides for each warband. And then there's just the rule summary. So I'm going to quickly open up season one just to give you a glimpse as to what I have made as far as changes go. And basically anything that's highlighted in green are new changes that I have made since my previous video and previous release. So this is basically the stuff that's in the part two PDF document that isn't included in the part one. And wherever two cards are listed in both part one and part two of that PDF, just go with the part two. So for example... Grave Strike exists in part one and part two, but I've modified it. So take the part two one and just ditch the part one version of this. And I've made significant changes, particularly the power cards for all Warbands. So this is Steel Hearts. This is Garrick's. All the green ones are the differences since the last release. Uh, here's Sepulchral Guard, Iron Skulls Boys. So you can really see that I've made lots of changes to all these Warbands in order to balance them. And they actually are quite well balanced. I'm pretty impressed at how this turned out especially since this later iteration with these power card changes. Things feel really balanced. Things feel very powerful. Every warband just feels strong, feels very functional, and feels very competitive against every other warband, especially in a four-player game. I haven't played too many 1v1s, but even in 1v1s, I feel like it will be fairly, fairly balanced, although some warbands would do better than other warbands in certain circumstances just because of play style, sort of like rock, paper, scissors. Anyway, this kind of summarizes my season one modifications uh, if you go back to the cards folder which you have available you can check season two exact same format here and if you go back to the cards section and check season three exact same format here as well and just give you a glimpse of what the part two document looks like part one was already made, made available before and hasn't been changed you see they basically just have the 
cards that I've made with house rules. So I put a little house symbol so it's easy to distinguish them from your original cards in case you print them all out. And they're opposite the power card backs. You can just double side print them and laminate them. I recommend on five mil laminate and they'll work very well. Or you can just print out the fronts of them and then cut them out and slide them into card sleeves. Uh, yeah, so you can see all the differences here. So you can see that Gash Rock, some of the weaker warbands got better modifications, obviously. So Grash Rock, Morgwaith in season three got the biggest improvements because they needed it and uh, other warbands less so. And I did this for all the season one and season two cards as well. So they're all available. So basically what you want to do if you are interested in playing in this format is you're just going to click on whatever season it is that you want to look at first. You, I'd recommend printing them all out, but you basically open up the three by three part one, which you probably have to download because it's a fairly large file. And then the part two as well, which you may have to download as well, especially for season one where there's a lot more changes. Print them all out, cut them out and sleeve them or laminate them if you print them double-sided. Take any part two cards. If there's an equivalent in part one, just replace the part one with the part two. Mix this with your existing faction specific cards that don't need changes because not all of them need changes. In my reference document here, there's some that I just didn't change. The only ones that I did change are the ones that are mentioned in this document. And then obviously illustrated in these cards. Same with the fighter cards, print them out. If they have a little house symbol, use that to replace the equivalent one. So for steel hearts, you're gonna be replacing all three because in my errata, they all have two block defense when uninspired in order to make them more competitive. And uh, I just want to give you guys the updates so you have access to it. I'm thinking about rechanging the format as to how I present it to do it warband by warband and include all the cards that I didn't change as well. So it's just easier to have a full look at what the warband is capable of. Although I do summarize things pretty well in these warband info, tactical guides and lore guides. And I will be pushing forward into season four once season four is completely released. I've already been making modifications to some of the warbands that have been released so far. And I'll just release them all when season four is completed and done. And Games Workshop has released all the images because they haven't updated their site yet. So I cannot complete the aesthetic aspect of these custom efforts that I've been putting forward. All right. So that basically does it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. As I mentioned, the link for all this stuff is located in the description. So just click on it. I'm going to make it very, I'm going to make it accessible for you. Feel free to give me feedback, especially if I've made any typos or mistakes like that. And I'll go back and fix those right away. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content and I hope you all have a nice day.